Here in Lagos, Christians also joined others across the world to attend church services in commemoration of Christmas. Founder, Household of God Church, Chris Okotier, who spoke at the church's Christmas service, says it's confident God will not abandon Nigeria. Senior correspondent Ibi Kano reports. It has become a tradition for members of the Household of God Church International Ministries to dress like Bible characters on days such as this. Today wasn't any different as their regalia depict Christmas all colorful and bright. The church band dished songs while the members stepped to their beats. Mounting the podium, the pastor took over the microphone. Give me yes. Give me you. Addressing journalists, the clergyman said the birth of Jesus Christ is characterized by mysteries. Divinity amalgamated with humanity in what we call the hypostatic union. God transmutes from omnipotence, omniscience, omnipresence to a palpable terrestrial entity known as the Lord Jesus. 100% man, 100% God in what we call the hypostatic union. He had a message for the nation. He has not abandoned this nation. Nigeria is a client nation for God. And there is a prophetic destiny for this nation, which we must and we will fulfill. Many say they are happy for the day, despite the situation in the country. I am particularly a testimony of what Christmas um, means and represents. In fact, I just recovered from a two years setback. I was ill. As if you are celebrating your birthday and celebrating your Messiah, so it means a lot to me. At the Fountain of Life Church, is their first Christmas celebration since the demise of the founder. Also, first time his son, Pastor Jimmy Udukoya, is presiding over Christmas service. And I began to ask myself, why would the God of all humanity, God, the Divine One, the Messiah, decide to be born in a manger? They say like expected of all Christians, their faith has grown even stronger. Christians believe that the foundation of their faith actually lies in the birth of Christ. And that is why you see a lot of them this period, you know, bringing gifts, sharing gifts, uh, forgiving one another. And some, even non-Christians, are also celebrating this period. Ivy Cano, CVC News, Lagos.